Hey guys, it's TCS, and I'm going to tell you how to install the Homebrew Channel on the Wii U. What you need is a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl and a regular SD card. SDHC cards will not work, and it must be 2 gigabytes or less. So, let's prepare the SD card for the installation. Okay, so... For preparing the SD card, we should format the SD card first before we continue. So before you do that, I would suggest backing up anything that's on your SD card. Obviously, I already did that. So first thing you want to do is format your SD card as FAT32. Just like so. Make sure you right click on the SD card here and click Format. And then you will get this little window here. And it will say 970 megabyte. Uh, I have a one gig card in there that should be good enough for now so what we want to do is we want to format it as FAT32 um, and we can do default allocation size and I'll label it Wii and you can do a quick format that's fine and then click start and click OK and yes I want to format anyway I don't know why it said that but whatever OK now format is complete so after that, you'll have an empty SD card. You might, I have hidden file folders um, and stuff showing in my computer, but I, that's mine, never mind that. Okay, it should be empty. You know, you shouldn't see anything here, but you can ignore that. Okay, so after you're done that, um, you have to go to this website here, webrew.org slash wiki slash smash underscore stack. Um, and then you'll get taken to this page. So what you want to do is click download here and it will download um, the um, exploit for what we're going to use to um, install the homebrew channel on the Wii U. So we'll leave that there. And also you want to download the hack me installer or, or boot me, excuse me, um, to um, install the homebrew channel for us. So what you want to do is click download here and then click on hack me installer and click on that and download that as well. So after it is downloaded um, we can open these two files. Um, let me open them here. It's up here and on my other display. So you'll get these. You'll see these folders so basically what you want to do is copy uh, let's see here okay well you want to copy boot dot elf or, okay. okay to do this what you want to do is open up your SD card and then drag copy the boot dot elf file here into your SD card on the root just like so and also you want to copy the private folder on the root here as well so after you do that it'll be, um, just give it a minute it's copying and after you did that your SD card should be ready to go and and follow along for the next step so I'll see you on the Wii U okay so now we're gonna go into the Wii menu Select TV only, and then we'll insert Super Smash Brothers Brawl into the Wii U. Right here. Let's wait for it. And then we'll see the main and don't be tempted to put in the SD card right away. I'll tell you when to put the SD card in. So preparing this, if you already played Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii U itself, you want to delete your save files for it. And obviously I don't have any save files here, so if you do, delete it. But remember to back it up on an SD card in case you want to save it. So. Um, Make sure it's off your Wii console for now. 
So after you have it removed off there, insert your copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl into the Wii U. And once it does, I'm going to help you this channel, of course. Okay, it's going to start loading. And you want to create a new save file. Use the, um, if you're new to Super Smash Bros. Brawl, use the D-pad left and right to select, and press 2 to select. If you're new to it, of course. So after you create your save file, just give it a second. And press 2 again. Skip the intro. And then you'll get to. And then we'll go to Vault, Stage Builder. And you want to delete all the stages, like so. And after so, go back. And this is the time you insert the SD card. So open up the little door on the front, the view, and insert your SD card. Once you do so, Give it a second, or just like that, insert it, and then press 2, and watch what will happen. And there we go. There's our exploit. And, of course, it will say this little warning, saying this software must not be sold, and blah, 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 saying that if you purchase the software, you are scammed and you demand your money back immediately. So, it's just a bit of a warning in case you pay for any of the software. But I did not give you link, um, give you locations or links to these scams. I'm giving you the official links. I'm not giving you any scams or or anything suspicious. Press one to continue. Do that, and then. Click continue by pressing one. Press oh yeah, press A of course, and then use the D-pad up and select. Sorry if you can see that. Install the Homebrew channel, and you want to press A on that, um, and then say yes. Continue. Press A, and it's installing the Homebrew channel on the Wii U, and it will say success. And if it does, press continue and then click exit and wait for it and boom there's our homebrew channel on the Wii U let's go ahead and return to the system menu just to prove it here and there we are there's the homebrew channel on the Wii U look at that no editing, nothing like that. It's this is real guys, the homebrew channel on the Wii U. In Wii mode of course. Not on the Wii U menu, obviously. They haven't released something like that yet. But they do have it on the Wii mode. And it basically works the same as it was on the Wii. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Um, and keep in mind, one thing to note is when you install it like that, it will not, nothing will appear on the menu. So what you will have to do is to be able to have things on there, you will need to um, obviously copy them or cop, um, just copy the files that are in the zip file onto the root of the SD card and it will appear right on there. So. You just copy them to the SD card like so. If you don't know how to do that, I'll make a video for that as well. 
So, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Feel free to, um, to subscribe to TCS, and feel free, and, and, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I really did enjoy doing this for you guys on YouTube. So, um, happy programming. This is TCS, signing out.